Hey everyone, this is uh, Samir Kedekar, the Tech Visa Lawyer. Wanted to talk today about a very common question I get. Do I need work authorization to incorporate my startup? So this question tends to come to us a lot from students on student visas, but also from people who are on H-1B visas working for companies like Big Tech, for example. So let's say you're on an H-1B for Google uh, and you only have work authorization for Google. You want to incorporate a company. Do you need a separate work authorization to do that? So the answer is obviously it depends, right? I'll be the lawyer and give you the lawyer answer. It depends. What does it depend on? Well, it is a nuanced kind of question because it really depends on the circumstances that are kind of around it, right? In a vacuum, you don't need work authorization to incorporate a company. You can be a passive company owner. Let's say you incorporate a company, but someone else is doing all the work and running it, but you own it in name and you're just a passive investor or owner. That's totally fine. You can do that. But that's usually not the case though, right? What's usually happening is you've kind of built a product, experimental maybe, did some research, talked to people about it, took meetings with investors, you know, did a lot of stuff around the side, maybe like hired contractors here or abroad to help build it out. All those things are technically work, especially when it is taken into relation with you incorporating a company. So the answer is it depends. Definitely talk to a lawyer, but understand that the mere act of incorporating a company doesn't require work authorization or independent work authorization. But usually it's all the other stuff that you're doing kind of around the edges of that, that one taken into totality, into context, probably you would want to get work authorization when you incorporate the company. So I hope this clears it up a little bit. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, info at banyan.law. Thanks.